a little wipe that you put on your windshield and then when you have hot ass breath and <laughs> you don't fuck up the car. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Or your sister has hot ass breath and she like her side of the car is all <laughs> See how it comes off really easily? I wish it had some kind of like a locking technology. I don't know. But it makes me nervous that it's kind of flopping around because sometimes you get real into it and you're like, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Number one, a four way kitchen slicer. When I see things on Instagram and then I walk into the Japanese dollar store a week later and they have it, I'm like, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Because <laughs> on Instagram, they make things look so cool. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should be. But on Instagram, they make things look so cool and so convenient and like, oh my God, I can't live without that thing. So I find a lot of that stuff at the Japanese dollar store and this is one of them. One product that will slice, dice, and <laughs> all kinds of stuff. Hopefully it's not too plasticky and cheap. Ooh, I was gonna say, it doesn't look like the box because the box is white, but I don't think I found one thing at the Japanese dollar store that cost me $150 this time. This one might be totally worth it. Look how big this is. Boom, has a lid. Ooh, look at this, I like this. So you don't hurt yourself, you put this on the fruit and then you, there are your four different types of blade, I guess. You just snap that here on the top. Okay, now I'm nervous because you gotta be really careful with this stuff. Cut yourself, okay, here we go. <gasps> Pretty good, huh? See how it comes off really easily? I wish it had some kind of like a locking technology. I don't know, but it makes me nervous that it's kind of flopping around because sometimes you get real into it and you're like, Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> and um, <laughs> they cut your damn knuckles. Even though you have this for protection, but still, you're like, get it, get it. <laughs> Who says that? When they're cutting fucking vegetables, <laughs> me. <laughs> you're probably looking at my cauliflower going, why does she have cauliflower for this? Because it's trendy now to make cauliflower rice. And instead of going to Sam's and buying a 25 pound bag, that you ain't gonna eat for $30, you might as well make your own. I heard on the internet that you just have to do this, and then you have rice, healthy rice, keto. <laughs> so I'm gonna flip for the cucumber. I hope that's correct. I don't know, I'm nervous. Okay, and let's do this. If you align it to this little piece here, boom, you got a long runway instead of that little one down here that I was about to do. Vegetables right there. I don't need it yet. I'll use that later, because I'm gonna do this. <gasps> and then it falls into your bowl and boom, you got a salad. Put some dressing on it, you're done. See, this is the dangerous part. Watching 90 Day Fiance and you're like, baby girl Lisa did what? <laughs> Let's see. <gasps> Cool, and then you can wash your vegetables right here. Do you wash your vegetables before or after you cut them? Oh my God, they're perfect, look at that. Okay, I love it. See, we're gonna make a salad in here and then wash it all at one time. Isn't that a good idea? Okay, now we're gonna flip it back. Oh, shredded carrots. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm talking to you and we're about to have shredded knuckles. <laughs> now you don't have to dirty a whole bunch of dishes. The showstopper is gonna be the cauliflower rice. That's a good business. If you bag that and then sell it, there's another business idea. Make cauliflower rice, bag it and sell it. Genius. Some people don't wanna do all this work. Me. <laughs> I'm just showing y'all for those entrepreneurs out there that wanna have a side hustle. Sit down while you watch 90 Day Fiance and make Couple bags of this, that's a side hustle. You guys ready? One, two, three, go. <gasps> I didn't know if this was gonna work, but I think it's working. Okay, for this one, we should use this, huh? 
No, it's hard to use that if you're not going to get it in there real good. Let's see. I'd rather do it by hand. I'll just pay attention. And do a whole bunch at once. That way you can just bag it and freeze it for yourself. You can freeze this stuff. I'm telling you, I saw it at Sam's. Okay, you guys ready? Close your eyes. Oh, cauliflower rice. Look at this. Uh-oh. Who are we putting out of business now that we discovered the secret? Let's try the one we did with the carrots. Now, let's see what the smaller ones look like. Oh no. If you want to make cauliflower mashed potatoes, then that side is better. But for the rice, I think the first side that we did was best. So for all of those reasons, I'm going to give the four-way kitchen slicer five Vivian heads. This one's a good one. Number two, fluffy pancake mix. Have you guys also seen those on Instagram where they make those giant fluffy, fluffy, they even jiggle them? Have you seen those pancakes? I don't know if those are Japanese pancakes or Korean pancakes. I think this is something similar and you don't need eggs, you don't need oil, you don't need anything to make them out of this little packet. All you need is water. I want to make one that fits right in this pan so I can Flip it. I, you guys know I dream of flipping shit, but I can never do it. There is a dotted line in the back that shows you where to cut. I'm gonna cut right there because I think it's telling you to cut there so that you're able to put in the water. This is so easy, right? No eggs, no nothing. Ooh, it smells like heaven. Look at that. It looks just like regular pancake mix. Now our 110 milligrams of water not milligrams, <laughs> milliliters. Then you're supposed to just mix it around in the packaging. Easy, no dishes to wash, no nothing. Do it all right here. I think it's ready, let's look. <gasps> look at that batter, looking good. Super easy to mix it all up in here. I'm just gonna pour it straight out of here. It's so thick, the good kind of thick. Oh, too much, goodness. I want it to get fluffy like on Instagram. You know, they even put like the logo on. Have you seen those? Everybody's seen that video. So we might have trouble <laughs> flipping this guy over. Ooh, the bubbles are looking good. Is it gonna jiggle? No, it looks just like a regular pancake to me. If this thing fits in there, it's gonna be a beautiful thing. If it doesn't, it might be a scramble like my cookie. <laughs> I might just have to get like a little baby tiny miniature one of these. I think this is called a spatula, right? Pretty sure. Oh girl, that feels nice though. Oh, it's burning. I smell burnt. Oh my God. I oh no, I smell burnt burnt. Oh no. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, there it is, look. Thick ass pancake. Okay, flip it real good. Boom. I burned it kind of. Oh no, I just need my logo on it. Look at it. I need a Vivian head. Wouldn't that be funny? My shit's too high. Lower that. Oh my God, it worked. <gasps> but it looks like I'm gonna get like two pancakes out of it. <gasps> look, it's getting fluffier, look. <laughs> Cute. It smells like a cupcake. Okay, I kind of burned it, but you guys know. Okay, are you guys ready? I'm gonna have to go for the one at the bottom because I wanna be able to get right in there. <gasps> are you guys ready for the taste test? <gasps> what? That's delicious. It tastes like a damn cupcake. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give this guy four Vivian heads. Number three, carbonated water bottle cap for scalp refresh. That is a long title, but are you not excited? You attach this to a carbonated water bottle. I have this one and this is strawberry and cream, but it doesn't have sugar or anything, so you're okay. <laughs> I didn't have any other carbonated water bottle except this one, so this is gonna have to work. But listen, you attach this to this and then you rub it on your scalp. Does that not sound like heaven? It does to me, just close your eyes and think about it. Like a massage for your scalp? I wonder if it'll help like dandruff and stuff like build up because you're like oh, got all the bubbles in your head. Oh my god, I'm already excited. 
I don't know, but you guys, when I saw this, I just wanted to run in the shower and use it. But I have to wait for the video. Fingers crossed that this shit works because I need it. I need it. I'm craving it. I've been dreaming about it. Close your eyes again. Think about it. Just tingling bowls. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that gonna be nice? And I wonder if it's for that purpose of like, you know, getting any buildup off your hair the natural way, right? Use for pre-washing before washing your hair with shampoo. There's a center valve here, Psst, like that. I guess that activates it or like lets the water flow through. Let me see. Oh, it's about to get good. Have you seen this before? Have you experienced this heaven? I need to know in the comments down below because have I been missing out or what? Nobody told me about no damn carbonated water that you rub on your hair. Make your scalp beautiful. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna try it. Please fit. Oh yeah. Let's see. Nice. <laughs> okay, so we can do it. Press. Did you see it? I didn't catch it because I was looking the other way. Let me see. Oh my God, do you see it? Dum dum. Is that this, is that gonna happen on my scalp? Are you excited? Look at this. Okay, too much. Oh, it like, it's gonna like burst like jets into your head, gentle jets into your scalp. <laughs> okay, so let's see if it drips. No, it's not dripping. Oh my God. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, pay attention because I'm gonna do this very fast. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna put it right here and I'm gonna squeeze down and I'm gonna tell you if I feel heaven. Because if I do, everybody and their mama needs to try this. Right. Oh my God. Okay, ready? Ready, one, two, three, go. What does it feel like? <laughs> oh, shit. This is dumb, this is dumb. Don't do this in the room. Did it feel good? Yes. I might try it one more time. It did feel good because it's so freaking cold. Don't look away because I'm not doing it again. Ready, one, two, three, go. I wanna put it somewhere you guys can see. I think you guys can see it there. What does it feel like? It just feels like a gush of cold <laughs> I can feel the bubbles, okay? I'm gonna smell like strawberry shortcake for at least a week. Ooh, that's an added bonus. If you want your hair to smell delicious, for $1.50, you need to experience it. If you can find a Japanese dollar store. A lot of people ask me, where can I go? How do I find, go to their website and look up that stuff. I can't tell you in your state. <laughs> I can't tell everybody in every state where to find their Japanese dollar store. Just Google it, it's really easy. So I'm gonna give the carbonated water cap four Vivian heads. Number four, anti-fog wipes. You can use these in your car, a little wipe that you put on your windshield and then when you have hot ass breath, and <laughs> you don't fog up the car. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Or your sister has hot ass breath and she, like, her side of the car is all <laughs> And if you can survive that hot as breath, <laughs> then you should use these. Have them in your car for emergency situations where shit's fogging up and you don't want it to fog up. Sometimes you want it to fog up because people don't need to see your business, but if you don't want it to fog, you buy this and leave it in your car. Sometimes you have to think outside of the box. I actually didn't buy this for my car. I bought this for my shower because I have a small mirror like this one and I would point it up so you guys can see it. But if I point it up, all you guys are gonna see are my lights flashing right back at you. So I have to hold it down. But this is my bathroom shower mirror. Raise your hand in the comments down below if you have a mirror in your shower. I need to know. Everybody should have one in my opinion, not just guys to shave. Everybody, you get all kinds of shit. Sometimes you gotta check. Sometimes you gotta, if you're using a little brush, shit, if you're shaving, whatever. I'm just saying, it's convenient. Now the problem that I always freaking have, no matter if they say anti-fog on them, that's a damn lie. 
I have gone through a thousand mirrors and I haven't found one yet that is a true anti-fog. So what I thought was, if we wipe it with one of these, will it be anti-fog now, right? For $1.50, use them everywhere. Oh, these are long. Wipe away dirt to provide a clear view. No, <laughs> not just dirt. I need you to prevent fogginess. I'm gonna wipe it and then we're gonna put it in the shower and get it nice and steamy to see if my idea works. This is a hack. Okay, now the mirror looks distorted, great. Let me read the instructions. Hopefully they didn't have instructions besides just wiping it. Do not use while driving, great tip. Once she is used and dirty, throw it away. <laughs> okay. So our genius idea worked, you guys. No more foggy mirrors in my bathroom. So I'm gonna give this guy four Vivian hoods. Number five, plastic bottle humidifier. You put this little cat into a water bottle and boom, you have a to-go humidifier. Now, what I heard humidifiers were good for were like wrinkles. Other things too, but <laughs> anti-aging, you guys. Yeah, because it keeps you like hydrated and nice and ooey gooey. Not ooey gooey, not the right word. Doughy. <laughs> Isn't that the word they use to describe makeup? Like that doughy look? That I'm a little sweaty, but not really, I'm just glowing. <laughs> that kind of look, you need a humidifier. And if you sleep with one on, even better, you're gonna wake up glowing. So this is a portable one. I don't know why you would need a portable one. This one was not, <laughs> it was not $1.50. Don't get excited. I think I paid four, five dollars for it. Now it is USB powered, so maybe you can use it in your car or at home. You can't like, I mean, I guess you could walk around Walmart with it if you have one of those little battery packs. Do it. Nobody cares. How freaking cute is this? Look at it. <laughs> How freaking cute. Now, does it a better twist on there, right? To prevent bacteria from forming, dispose of water when not being used. Oh, inside of there, you probably can't see it because it's tiny. There is like an absorbent core is what it says on this little warning in the back. I guess that's what sucks up all the water. You should wash it and allow it to dry thoroughly. Oh, because fungalitis. <laughs> you gotta be careful because that's the thing with humidifiers. That's what I heard a long time ago. We talked about one. People said that those things get all kinds of fungalitis and mold. These stuff. If you're gonna use something like this, you better stay on washing that because you don't want to be breathing in no fungus or moldy shit. Okay, water bottle ready. All you do is put it in there. Oh, can you screw it? No, you can screw it on for security purposes. That way you don't spill, right? Now I know you can't electrocute yourself with a USB cord, but still, it's still plugged in. That's very dangerous. Dude, you have like, the little thing inside to screw it onto something. Y'all jacked me up with that. Ugh, how cute is that though? Do you love it? Would you want one of these? What would you use it for? Sinuses, is that what most people use it for? Allergies? I'm gonna use it for wrinkles. <laughs> Don't lie, you're gonna go look at that now that you've heard about it. Let's see, go. How long does it take? Did I have to add like a little bit of salt? <laughs> have you ever, why do you need to add salt sometimes? I thought you had to add salt to humidifiers, no? Where did I hear that? Kitty cat, do you have an on and off button? Let's see. Does it have to bubble up or boil or something? I don't know. Aww. Maybe you have to give it a minute, Vivian. We're gonna put it to the side for now. Let's read the instructions first before I start bitching. It just says, plug it in and it will begin shortly. So that's it, those are the instructions. So, we'll move on to the next product and then as soon as this start, I'll tell you if I love it. Number six. Easy open wet wipe lid. Have you guys seen the Instagram video? 
the hack, <laughs> where they put one of these on potato chips. That way, you just pop it open, grab a couple chips, then seal them up. And you don't have to open the bag like that. You know what I'm talking about? Look, I have some chips here. We're not going to open it like we normally do. We're going to open it like a baby wipe. <laughs> like this. Every time I see that dumb video, I'm like, oh my God, I have to try that. So when I was walking around the Japanese dollar store, I was like, oh yeah, screw the baby wipes. That's going to be for the chips, the snacks on a road trip. That is a small opening though. Portion control. See, now we're on a diet. You can't get a lot out of that little hole. So by the time you dig some shit out, you're tired. You're like, never mind. I'm not hungry anymore. Is this little life hack a portion control thing or is it a freshness thing? Which one is it? Have you seen this? Have you done it? Let me know. Wait, I might have to just cut a slit first, huh? No, not yet. What we'll do first is take off the little sticker at the bottom, center it right there in the middle. <laughs> then I'm gonna cut a slit. Is Should I have to, I don't know what, I don't remember what they did in the video, but this is how I'm gonna do it. That way I know how long to make it. You push here to open. Am I gonna crush my chips now? Ta-da! <laughs> I love it! <laughs> Good, huh? Let's see if it'll come off. No! Nice! Look at that. It's not gonna come off that chip bag, okay? What do you think? No? Portion control. If you open the whole damn thing, then it's not portion control. Is it gonna pop? <laughs> I don't know. It's not gonna pop, is it? Is a potato chip bag pop? Like a balloon? I don't think it pops like a balloon, do you know? Oh, no it doesn't. I just cut it. If you just cut a little slit like that, it's not gonna work as good, see? We're gonna have to cut it around and around. Make a nice big opening there. Then you don't have to worry about bugs getting in. You don't have to buy one of those chip clips, right? Cause now you have this little thing. Ha ha. This is a pretty genius idea, I think. Chips! <laughs> Let's see, can I get it out? Oh, these are not the best ones to test this with because these are puffs, but look, bam. And then when you're done, close them up. <laughs> the kids won't even know they're opened because you can tell the kids, nobody's opened those yet, so don't touch it. They're not gonna know. This is gonna throw them off. Unless they have Instagram, then they know what the hell this means. But if not, same with the husbands. So they like, babe, don't touch those. We haven't opened them yet. <laughs> but you have this cool little secret window there. Tell me in the comments down below if you think this is a cool life hack. If you do, stop by the Japanese dollar store, 150. If you're not grossed out and just think baby wipes the entire time that you see this, I'm gonna give this guy four Vivian heads. Number seven, an ice pack. But not just any kind of ice pack, duh. It's the Japanese dollar store. You know they put a little twist on everything. This one is like a blanket. So you can roll it onto your soda or your water bottle, or maybe if you have food with you, you can wrap this around it and keep it cold. Who makes things like this? Have you seen it at Walmart? I've seen those like ice blocks, but like a blanket? Have you seen them? Like I don't think I have. It is 5.8 inches tall by 15.2 inches wide. That's pretty big, right? Look at it, ooh. And now this didn't cost me $1.50, you guys. I think this cost me like $3. <gasps> Look at it. It even has Velcro, you see? Told you you haven't seen this before. This is pretty unique. My brain's already going a thousand miles an hour. How can we use this? I was gonna say all the gel cold part is kind of in the middle. I want it to go all over. I think you can squeeze it through. Yeah, to the outsides of it. It's like an ice pack. It just has Velcro. <laughs> I still thought it was genius, but this is how you use it. Look, put your soda pop inside and then we roll. Maybe not. Maybe you just put it there and then you roll. Cause the Velcro, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, two soda cans? Maybe you fold it, maybe like. 
How? Huh? <laughs> Tell me how. It's too long for it to roll a soda. Maybe I have to roll it this way, duh. Like this. The thing is, the Velcros don't... I need a moving Velcro. I need to be able to... Can I just add my own Velcro? Because this is such a genius idea. Right? If you put a soda pop in your purse, because you're going <laughs> to church. Sometimes you're thirsty. And the last time I asked this in a video, you guys said yes. Your pastor lets you drink coffee. So that's a cool pastor. He's woke woke. <laughs> I haven't been to church in about eight years, but once upon a time when I did go, you couldn't even chew gum. I still think that's a rule. You can't have water, nothing. They were right on you, right on your ass. Make sure you are a disciplined follower. <laughs> I don't know what the hell a little bit of water was gonna harm, nothing. So you might not be able to take this to church either, but if you can, you got a cool pastor. Maybe it's for like sandwiches because look, it makes like a perfect square. Does that make sense? Maybe it's for like a lunchbox. Maybe two drinks or maybe something other. I was thinking a muscle hurts, right? Your knee hurts. Velcro that shit. It did remind me like of a pressure. Like when you're taking your pressure at the doctor's. I paid an extra dollar fifty for it. Obviously, I thought it was cool. Now it's not plastic. It feels like a tent material. It feels really nice. Like it's gonna last you forever. It doesn't fit. You see? Maybe both. Am I gonna have to get this altered? And oh, two drinks. Look at this. <gasps> yes. There you go. You see? Look. <gasps> oh. <laughs> You and your lover have y'all's cold drinks now. Or maybe a drink and a snack. Two ice cream, no, don't do ice cream because it's not that cold. Let me mention this real quick because the Velcro part, obviously there's no gel there. So it's not cold on this backside, it's just cold on the front and on the sides. So besides that flaw, and besides the flaw that the Velcro is kind of just at the end, you're gonna have to put two things in it, but I still think it's a good idea. So I'm gonna give the two soda pop ice pack three Vivian heads. Number eight, easy cutting board scraper. Have you ever seen a cutting board that is like nasty and yellow? If you haven't, hold on, let me show you mine. <laughs> Don't lie, you have one too. Don't lie, everybody has one. Mine's not that bad. I mean, it's a little bad, but it's not horrible. You wanna make sure that your shit's clean you buy one of these because it scrapes the top, gets all the junk off, maybe even the discoloration, maybe that's what I bought it for. Scrub under running water using the product, rinse floating dirt with water. My cutting board doesn't have any dirt, but I imagine like this, I don't know. <laughs> They're just saying scrub under water and then it's gonna just take, I guess maybe layers off, I don't know. You're kind of sanding it down. I'm excited. Can I make this look like marble? <laughs> Can we make it look new? What's this little uh, sand block gonna do for us? It may not remove knife scratches. Wait, only one side is like sandy? Okay, so one side of it is like one of those magic erasers and then on this side is like sand paper. So it's recommended that you do this under running water. So let's go to the sink and try it. So I took it to the sink. I ran water on both the actual little scraper and the cutting board at the same time while I was using it. And it it worked, but it didn't work as well as I thought it would. I wanted it to <laughs> completely erase everything off of that cutting board. Scratches, discoloration, all of that stuff. And it didn't do that. I thought it would at least like buff down the scratches on that cutting board a little bit more than it did. But even when I turned off the water to see if that would make a difference, and then I tried scraping it a little bit more on the cutting board itself, it still really didn't make a difference. Now my cutting board wasn't horrible to begin with, but still, I wish it would have taken a little bit of the yellow off, a little bit of the scratches off. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the cutting board scraper two Vivian heads. I don't think you really need it. Now this thing, did you notice that my bottle shrunk a little bit more? Before I went to the sink, I cut 
more of the bottle and took out more of the water. I unplugged it, plugged it back in like every techie in the world knows that's troubleshooting 101 and still nothing happened here. I'm gonna give this defective product zero. Vivian heads. Number nine, a partition for your drawers, like spoons, forks, knives, all that good stuff, or like underwear, socks, things like that. Everybody is all into organizing now, I guess because we're home so much these days on lockdown that everybody's organizing their pantry and all kinds of stuff. So I thought this was genius because sometimes you have crazy shaped drawers, too tall, too wide, too whatever, and you can't find, at least for me, I can't find the little baskets to fit inside. So this, you can actually like, like a puzzle, put it together and then cut pieces so that you get the perfect size for your drawer and your knives or spoons. That's what I'm gonna use it for. Combining partitions allows you to create various size spaces. You can use scissors, etc., to cut partitions and set them up anywhere. <gasps> Look at this, can I find this at Ikea? And I just never noticed. It looks like something I would find at, in Ikea. See? <laughs> Let's go so I can show you. I'll need my scissors too. So I wasn't able to put in the really, really long items, but I think if I would have had a couple more, I could have really got creative with how I assembled it. I'm gonna give the partition from the Japanese dollar store five Vivian heads. It was satisfying to see my drawers that good. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool dollar store product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.